Hi everyone, Rob the Average Lawn Guy. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I will do a series of do-it-yourself lawn care. In order not to miss out on any of this, subscribe now, hit that notification bell. Today is Prodiamine Day. This is my second application of pre-emergent on my lawn. Four weeks ago, I applied the granular pre-emergent and I used the Lesco 007 brand. Now, normally when you make your second app, you can use any type of pre-emergent you want. I could have gone with the Lesco 007 brand again as my second application. But normally what I like to do is use a granular for my first app and then a liquid for my second app. I made videos about applying Prodiamine 65 WDG and I'll link those in the description. But in this video I'm going to show you how I apply the Prodiamine 65 WDG along with other products. The products I'm mixing in with the Prodiamine is the Tau Star, which is an insecticide. And I'm also mixing in the Sunnyland Sun Miners Blend. The reason I'm mixing these two in with my pre-emergent application, first I'm able to do three things at once. I'm putting down my pre-emergent. On top of that, I'm putting down an insecticide to kill any bugs and to prevent any bugs from coming in. Third, I'm also applying miners blend not really so much for the micronutrients but more for the iron we're towards the end of the season where the Bermuda is still pretty much alive but it's slowly going to sleep so I'm putting down the miners blend in order to give me a little bit of iron for the lawn to have that little bit of pop going towards Halloween now I could use just liquid iron for that and that's perfectly fine but this bottle I had laying around and I wanted to give it a try. Now I can tell you, you can mix all three of these products in together with no problem. But normally you want to do a compatibility test. That's just basically short for a jar test. A jar test is when you take a small amount of water and you mix all the products in into one jar to see if there's any clumping. Now on the Prodiamine label, page two, you can look at the compatibility test. Now some people get confused with this compatibility test and they assume that it's an application rate. It is not. The label states, before mixing Prodiamine 65 WDG with other pesticides in the spray tank, test the compatibility by mixing all components the carrier and pesticide products in a small container, which is a jar test, in proportionate quantities. For example, a one quart jar would be one one hundredth the volume of a 25 gallon per acre spray rate. At one pound per acre, the Podiamine 65 WDG rate would be proportional to 4.5 grams per quart of water. You would then add approximately 1.5 teaspoons of the Podiamine 65 WDG to the quart of water. Calculate amounts of other products based on the rate per acre. An approximate volume would be 1.5 teaspoons for each pound per acre of a dry formulation and 0.5 teaspoons for each pint per acre of a liquid formulation. So many people look at this and they see the podiamine on the first line and it says the rate per thousand square foot is 0.4 ounces and they would go out and mix 0.4 ounces per thousand square foot. And while that is a correct application rate, that is not the intention of this particular label on this section here. This label right here is telling you 0.4 ounces per thousand square foot scaled down to the mixture of the jaw test would be 1.5 teaspoons of the Podiamine 65 WDG. So it's telling me exactly in order to get the same amount of 0.4 ounces per thousand square foot scaled down would be 1.5 teaspoons or 4.5 grams per quart of water that you need to add. In this test here, I'm showing you 0.4 ounces measured out after I zeroed out the scale. I measured out 0.4 ounces of the Prodiamine. When I switched over the units to convert it to grams, it went from 0.4 ounces to about 12 grams. So 0.4 ounces is roughly about 12 grams in weight. Now, trying to estimate the amount 
of teaspoons of the product I'm going to take 0.4 ounces of the product and try to convert it to the teaspoons you can see I'm switching it over it's one teaspoon two teaspoons three and a little bit left over so let's just call it three teaspoons so it's three teaspoons equals 0.4 ounces of a product so this compatibility test has nothing to do with the amount that you're gonna apply over a thousand square foot now let's do this the right way I'm going to measure out 4.5 grams of the product this scale is not accurate to the tenths so I'm going about 5 grams 5 grams of the product is roughly about one and a half teaspoons and you can see I'm measuring this out here and I'm getting the one and a half teaspoons so for this jaw test what I need to do is measure out one quart of water so I have a little measurement bucket here and you can see one quart is listed right here so I fill the water up to one quart next I take the 4.5 grams of the product and put it into the jar now because the two mixtures I'm applying is a liquid I'm gonna take 0.5 teaspoons of each product and mix it into the jar or I should say a bucket so I'm taking 0.5 ounces of the insecticide and I'm taking 0.5 ounces of the miners blend mixing it together and the whole point of this test is to determine compatibility you want to mix it and stir it to make sure that it is compatible you wait about five minutes after five minutes if you see no clumping you're good to go you know you can mix these products so the whole point of this video is to show you the compatibility test don't mistake it for the application rate the compatibility test has nothing to do with the application rate now if you use the compatibility test application rate you're right you're able to get that five month of coverage that you want but this section of the video is just here to point out that you don't want to really look at that you want to look over on the chart under figure one that will tell you the amount of product you need to add to get a desirable X amount of months of control I made a conversion for this in my previous video and I'll link it in the description now as for pre-emergence you can apply a pre-emergent at any time and because my soil temperatures is below 70 degrees right now it's reading roughly about 68 degrees I'm gonna go ahead and put down my second app I'm gonna go ahead and put down an application rate of 1.15 pounds per acre that's gonna give me a coverage of about six months being right now we're in the middle of October that's gonna technically cover me until April but I'm gonna take away about a month from that just because with almost any product it's never that entire length that you're gonna get that coverage that goes for insecticides pre-emergence or whatever the case is so I take away about a month as a fudge factor because of rains and sunlight those things combined can actually wear down the pre-emergent barrier now I mentioned I'm gonna use 1.15 pounds per acre of the product and you have to convert it from pounds per acre to ounces per thousand square foot so what I'm gonna do is take 1.15 multiply it by the conversion factor the conversion factor to convert pounds to ounces is times 16 I'm gonna take 1.15 times 16 that's gonna give me 18.4 I'm gonna take the 18.4 divided into the amount of square foot in an acre one acre equals 43,560 square foot so I'm gonna take the 18.4 divided into 43.56 that's going to give me an application rate of 0.42 ounces per thousand square foot now because I have Bermuda grass I know the maximum application rate for Bermuda is on the higher end so I'm not worried about going over the yearly max but if you have a different type of turf grass you want to definitely make sure you don't go over that yearly max now the first step 
you need to calibrate your backpack sprayer. I can't do that for you. You have to determine how much of an area you can cover per gallon of water. Now I choose to go on the higher end. I go two gallons per thousand square foot and that's what I'm calibrated to. And the reason why I'm on the higher end is because I want to walk at a slower rate. By walking at a slower rate, I'm able to get a better coverage instead of having the chemicals disperse and leaving gaps in coverage I want to get complete coverage and the only way you can do that is by going heavy on the liquid you're still doing the application rate I'm doing two gallons per thousand square foot and I have a four gallon sprayer so I can cover 2,000 square foot at a time. Now what you're calibrated to is going to be completely different. And whatever you're calibrated to, you make sure you stick to that. Now because I cover 2 gallons per 1,000 square foot and I have a 4 gallon sprayer, I'm covering 2,000 square foot at a time. So the mixture rate I'm looking for with the prodiamine is 0.42 ounces per 1,000 square foot. And I know 2 gallons covers 1,000 square foot. So I know 0.42 in two gallons will cover a thousand square foot. Now because I have a four gallon sprayer, I'm going to double that. So I'm going to take the 0.42 and double it. That will give me 0.84 of the product I need to mix into a four gallon sprayer. So I take my backpack sprayer and I'm going to add water to it. I'm going to go about halfway or three fourths of the way. Don't fill it up to the top. Next, I take the product mixture I need to add. I'm going to take 0.84 ounces of the product and mix it into the backpack sprayer. Next, I take the towel star and I'm looking for a mix rate of 1 to 1.5 ounces per thousand square foot and I'm covering 2,000 square foot at a time. So I'm going to take roughly about 3 ounces of the towel star, mix it in into the tank sprayer. Next, I'm going to take the miners blend. I'm going with the label rate of 8 ounces per thousand square foot. And remember, my backpack sprayer is calibrated to 2,000 square foot at a time. So I'm going to take 16 ounces of this product and mix it into the tank sprayer. After everything is mixed in, I'm going to take the tank sprayer and fill it up with water. Finally, I take the marking die. I find there's no need to measure it out. I can just eyeball it. You want to add a few drops of this. After I mix my mark and die, I'm going to close everything up and agitate it. You want to shake it and shake it and keep shaking it. You want to shake it before and during the application. And the rest of this is simple. You just move at the rate you're calibrated to. I know this video was a little longer than my usual. I needed to be very detailed on how to apply this and how to mix different chemicals into this. The good thing about applying prodiamine is that you can mix all types of chemicals, whether it's insecticides, fungicides, post-emergent, or even fertilizers. It's important to do the compatibility test, and that compatibility test will tell you if you're able to mix everything in together. Now, if you have any questions on how to apply prodiamine 65WDG, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. And be sure to tune to these videos right here. They get in detail on how to apply Podiamine 65 WTG. Hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more videos. With that, thanks for watching. Take care.